Come on. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing Ravens content every single day. And for all of these Baltimore Ravens draft picks, we are going to be giving our instant reaction. Um, you know, the, the Eagles just selected uh, Mr. Jordan Davis, Joshua and I. You know, we actually recorded like a seven-minute segment just waiting. It took the Eagles like seven minutes for after the pick was announced for their pick to actually get announced. Um, it was in for a while. Uh, so... <laughs> You know, if you guys really want to see that recording, we may potentially release it at some point. But guys, whoever we pick, let us know what you guys are thinking. We're going to give our instant reaction just like we have um, in year, you know, just like we did last year. We're going to do it for every single pick, not just the first round, not just the second round, one through seven, if the Ravens end up giving a seventh round pick. So, you know, I'm going to kind of announce it when I hear it. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, the, the best player available, I had him number two on my big board, was Kyle Hamilton. Last year, we talked about it. Please draft Rashad Bateman. Please draft Rashad Bateman. That was our discussion before, you know, the Ravens ended up making their selection. And they did select Rashad Bateman. Hopefully, we can do it again. But there's a couple of guys, Joshua, that I know we're really high on uh, that they could go after. Jermaine Johnson and Kyle Hamilton, where do you want them to go? What's the best case scenario for the Ravens in this draft selection? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm locked in on my phone. Keep saying some things. I'm gonna wait till we. See, I'm gonna wait till it officially drops in. But um, I'm going for the Legion of Boom in the AFC North. I'm going for the. I'm going for the Legion of Boom in the AFC North. We have been torched way too long. And I see the pick is in for the Ravens. You know, hopefully they announce it real soon. But you know, you said you said Legion of Boom. My whole philosophy is I believe if the Ravens end up drafting Kyle Hamilton, who I never thought would be available. It would be the best safety, the best secondary potentially in the history of the NFL, rivaling the likes of teams such as the Legion of Boom. You know, we have already three great players uh, in our secondary, Marcus Williams, Marcus Peters, and uh, Mr. Marlon Humphrey already. But if we could get Kyle Hamilton, it would be absolutely unbelievable. Now, right now, they're interviewing Mr. Jordan Davis on the sideline. Joshua, put that phone down. You know, we ain't trying to get spoiled right here. <laughs> my bad, my bad. You know, you know we bad. got we got to make sure, you know, hopefully, you know. But let's talk about if it's not Kyle Hamilton. You know, guys, let us know, you know, what you guys are thinking, who you guys wanted the Ravens to take. If you, What do you rate the pick? But, you know, this was a weird draft. All of the guys we, like, really wanted that we thought could potentially be available in trade-up they all went in the top five, <laughs> so it was not likely anymore. Uh, we were open maybe a Thibodeau slides or a Stingley or a Sauce. I never thought Kyle Hamilton would slide or Jermaine Johnson. I mean, those guys seemed like, oh, they should most definitely be top ten picks. Most definitely. What have your thoughts been throughout this draft? Yo, I mean, like I said, that's the first five picks, I mean, from um, Trayvon Walker, that everybody felt like, oh, it shouldn't be number one. But you got to think about it. That is a hybrid defensive end that you can also line up in the inside and outside. And you have you have a Josh Allen that they just picked up their fifth just uh, picked up their fifth year option in Jacksonville. I mean, Aiden Hutchinson to Detroit. You know, so it's so many different moves that's been made. You know, Houston they get Derek Stingley. Me personally, I felt like it was going to get Devin Lloyd. So I mean, the first five picks really shook up this year's draft, and I've been saying it. It really depends on the first five picks because you never know what can happen. So let's Joshua, we got a man stepping out onto that stage. Mr. Roger Goodell has taken the stand. 14th pick. 2022 NFL Draft. Talk to me. Ravens Talk select. Me. Come on. Kyle Hamilton, baby! Oh, let's go. go! Let's go! Oh, man! It's there was no it's way! It's we missed out. Let's go, man. We missed out two times in the Ravens history. Two times there have been secondary players that were unbelievable prospects. Mr. Jalen Ramsey out of Florida State and Mr. Derwin James out of Florida State. And unfortunately, they slid, but the teams took them right before the Ravens. This time, Kyle Hamilton, the best defensive player in college football last year. He won the award for best defensive player. Yeah, we know Aiden Hutchinson won the you know, was in the Heisman voting, Kyle Hamilton was disrespected. Kyle Hamilton was, in my opinion, the second best player in this draft. I've talked about him as the, maybe the best safety prospect of all time. Joshua, we always draft these linebackers. You know what we always say? Ray Lewis, right? Ray yeah. Lewis. 
Well, there's yeah. another position the Ravens have the greatest of all time at, and right. that would be safety. And we went out and got maybe the best safety prospect of all time. What are you feeling right now? What I'm feeling right now? What? I, where am I feeling right now? Hey, Joey B, t- let me talk to you. <laughs> when it comes to August, don't throw it over top. Hey, hey, who 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 else out there? Deshaun Watson. Deshaun, whenever you think you want to play for the Cleveland Browns, don't throw it over top. Marcus Williams is covering the field. You got my boy Kyle to start from day one. Chuck, I love you, boy. You got IQ. You got the green dot. But my guy, um, you're not going. I, I, I don't know what they're going to do with you. I don't know what they're going to do with you. I don't know if they're going to put you down in the box or whatever the case may be. But yo, this defense, Mike McDonald, you got a young dog in the backfield that you, oh, that you can groom. That you're not going to see all that miscommunication. Hey, Marcus, do what you do. I got a safety back there that can get a pick for you. So let's bring it on. AFC. Oh, Russell Wilson. I know we got Denver. I know we got Denver on the Yep, we playing Denver. Hey, hey, Russell, I know I know you got some weapons over there, but let me tell you how my boys are about to about to dog you out in that in that in that set in that back seven. Who who else? Miami, tour. If you ever think you're gonna throw it, throw it deep again against my team, against my dogs, with a dump your way coming at you, and my back, my boys in the back with Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Williams, now Kyle Hamilton and Marcus. Man, come on, man. Come on. I ain't got too much more to say. It's time, it's time to strap up, put the pads on. Hey, 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 John. Don't put me in the doghouse. Give me some pads <laughs> and make sure Lamar ain't touched at this point. Now I'm loving this for real. Yeah, you bring up you bring up the doghouse. Kyle Hamilton is a dog. He is physical. He has incredible instincts. And yeah, he didn't run a great 40 yard dash. He had some injuries late in the season. But man, is this guy a football player? Man, can this guy do it all? He can run. He can get picks. He can force fumbles. He can read the ball. He can play in the box. He can play over top. Guys, this is a Raven with versatility, but also expertise inside of that versatility. He can do it all. He can cover those tight ends. He can play over top. He can, he, you know, we lost to Sean Elliott. We got a new Henry hitter, right? Woo! We got a new Henry hitter. Talk to him. Talk to him. I was just about to say, hey, we got Kansas City. Hey, Travis. Hey, Travis. I got somebody that can stick you now. I got exactly. Somebody, I got somebody that can stick you now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we can allow Marlon to get back on those wide receivers. Marcus on the wide receivers, and then Marcus Williams over top. This secondary is insane. Well, this is something we've been preaching about this offseason. We need to get uh, Marlon Humphrey that breather. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. There's been a trade. The Ravens have traded Marquise Hollywood Brown in the third round pick for pick 23 from the Arizona Cardinals. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh man. Pick 23. You know, you know who could be available at pick 23. There are a couple of players right there. There are a couple of maybe some edge rushers. Guys Edward like George? You know, we could get George Carlotts. You know, Jermaine Johnson is still available. Um, you know, oh, there's there's still wide receivers available. You know what? You know, Jermaine Johnson. I see him going. I see him going to Commanders. I see him going to the Commanders. If the Commanders do not draft the quarterback, oh yeah, offensive weapons. So I see them going defense. All right, guys. That I think that's gonna do it for the reaction video. We will be back at the twenty third pick. That is incredible. You know, we talked about get two picks in this draft. Man, we are so excited. We will be back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for daily Ravens content. Let us know, Kyle Hamilton. Hollywood Brown trade, what are you guys feeling?